Okay, so to wrap this up, um, I'm not sure if this is really what I want to be doing in Modern. It definitely has some power level. It, uh, Platinum Empyrean and Madcap Experiment, um, just like there are some decks, the last two decks we played against, uh, they have a real hard time beating that. There are other decks that uh, you know either have tons of answers to it, or I mean, if you play against Infect, they don't really care about this. They're just, oh, you tapped out? Okay, you're dead. Um, that being said, um, I mean, the deck has some pros, it has some cons. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the most optimal build possible. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, I don't think it's that far off. Um, I think there was, I have some solid reasons for most of what I did, and things you know tend to play out pretty well. Uh, I have decent success with it. Uh, nothing super broken, um, but uh, let's talk about the changes I made over last week, which would be uh, tweaked the Urborg. Urborg did some work. Um, it's not always great. Some sometimes the just the fact that it's a symmetrical effect and can help your opponent if if they need black mana or if they will need to. Uh, don't want to crack a fetch land, but want to tap it for, you know, effectively a colorless mana, um, or generic mana, more more or less, because it doesn't. Urborg did not help you to cast Pot Pot Seer. Um, that's that's a fair point. Um, I don't know. I've flooded out a little bit in a couple games. Of course, there are a couple games I just got stuck on lands too. I I feel like twenty three is probably the right number of lands. Um, I, I tend to run like an extra land than most people. Uh, I, just, I just feel like you lose more games to not having enough lands than just drawing too many lands. Like you have to draw like way too many lands. If you draw one too few, few land, like so, when you add an extra land to the deck, a that reduces your chance of missing a land drop more substantially than it increases your chance of drawing like too many lands, and generally. Uh, you lose more games for having being short one land and being like having an extra land in your deck. Uh, that's just my philosophy on things, uh, especially uh, you know. Uh, anyway, so there's that. Um, collective brutality did did uh, it was okay. I think we only drew it once. I mean, this is one of so um, that seems fine. Uh, it's a little bit more versatile than Thought Seize. Uh, it would have been really good against our last two opponents, especially the, the uh, Goblin player. This is just... I've, I played a lot of Burn, and uh, Collective Brutality is indeed brutal. Um, Culligan's Command for a Electrolyze. Just, you know, I never really miss the Electrolyze. Um, like, I guess it would have been good against the Lingering Souls, but in general I think Culligan's Command is probably a little bit better. Sideboard is maybe where I'm uh, going a little bit off the rails. Um, this is, I'm not sure what, uh, if anything, is a better alternative to the uh, sideboard Dark Confidants as an alternative you know, transition away from the combo. Um, Ashiok, uh, he was good the one time we played him. Or it, her, nightmare is non-gendered as we have discovered. Uh, but uh, I don't know what. I like the idea of having something that actually pressures our opponent a little bit more than Ashiok, because you know against Tron or something, uh, Ashiok. I mean, we're, we're 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 hoping pretty hard that Ashiok does something against Tron, and. We could actually. Oh, that'd be fun. We could actually transition into running four Fulminator Mages and then just try and. Not specifically. I mean, against Tron would be great, of course. But just turning Culligan's Command into a Stone Rain as well and just going after people's mana is a thing. Um, could potentially want to run. I don't know. 
Um, but the cards are there for a reason. Um, not sure. Hero's Downfall. I have. In general, my sideboarding might be. Uh, I want to go for something a little bit more broad than I should, and something narrow but super impactful. Um, that is probably just kind of a fault in the way I have uh, operated. But um, it's a fun deck. Don't know if this is the greatest deck. Let me just do a quick metagame um, breakdown. Or let me let me compare this to something else. So at the Grand Prix, uh, Corey Borkhart last week went 14, uh, 14 and 0 with. Well, okay. he probably hit some dice, but he went undefeated in the Swiss Swiss rounds and uh, finished in second place overall with this Grixis deck, which is uh, this is a true control deck. This is like I've even gotten away from calling this uh, a control deck because you know of the kind of combo finish. It's not a, a true control control deck. This is like training wheel control deck. This is like real control deck where, yeah, we're going to be here for a while. This is like, okay, I just need to keep things clear for a little bit, get the Platinum Imperium on the board and kill you in two hits. Um, this is, yep, we're going to be casting Cryptic Command a bunch of times. We're going to be drawing a bunch of cards with Ancestral Vision and recurring our Snapcasters with, with Colgan's Command and or Cryptic Command. And, Whatever. Eventually, we'll hit you a few times with a few guitar pit or whatever to kill you. But we're going to have to be in full control of the game for, let's say, at least 12 turns. Um, so this is... I, I, I'll tell you this. I, I, I am not a good enough player to play this deck. This deck will kill me. Um, no. Yeah. But this is this is... A real deck, and this is a this is a fun, fun deck for noobs like me who still want to post videos of themselves on the internet playing the game because whatever. Um, but if you look at the oops, there we go. Uh, modern metagame breakdown, um, how do I feel about my deck against Dredge? Uh, both versions of Dredge just make about 10 ver 10 10 percent of the metagame. Um, it's okay. It uh, Game one is pretty good before they get their ancient grudges and their answers to our Latin Imperians going. Uh, after sideboard, it gets a little bit more hairy. Uh, you have some sideboard hate. They've got sideboard hate against us. Uh, they probably do a little bit better in the sideboard plan than us, but we're probably at least 50-50 in stretch in a match. Uh, against Infect, uh, kind of goes the other way. Um, in fact, this is a very, very strong deck. Uh, they can kill you so quickly uh, that no one's perfect against them, but we've got enough disruptive elements against them. I feel okay about it. Like, uh, even pre-board, when our Platinum Imperium is still in, uh, it's not a terrible matchup. We've got enough you know, removal spells and discard spells and counter spells that we can probably get through them. Uh, Jund, next up on the list. Jund, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel good about about it uh, pre-flop or pre-flop. Oh, stupid COVID lingo. Uh, pre-board, I don't feel great about it. Uh, I think it's just too easy for them to kill Platinum Imperium. Uh, Post-board, uh, I never, I, I, you know, I built this side, this you know, Ashiok plan uh, specifically for Dret, for Juns, Mavzan. Uh, those make up about eight percent of the metagame. And um, I think it could be effective. I don't think it's going to make us super favored. Uh, probably at least a slight underdog against Jund. Fantail Drazi, uh, I feel pretty good against it. Uh, we've got enough removal spells to keep things under control. Our counter spells are bad against them. I don't have very much counter spells. Um, so. And they don't have a ton of answers to Platinum Imperium. They can do some some things, but not a ton of things. Uh, so I think that's a good, not a great matchup uh, against Affinity. Um, I think we're pretty good. Af uh, 
Platinum Empyrean is real tough for them to deal with. Um, we've got enough controlling elements that they probably won't kill us too quickly. Um, yeah, we've got a pretty good sideboard plan against them. Okay, great. Angers, Damnation, maybe Static Caster is great. Uh, Rakdos Charm, pretty good. Uh, Affinity's probably a little, uh, a little to the good side as well. Uh, against Naya Burn, uh, it's pretty strong. Like Platinum Period is pretty much game over against them being one. Um, in so I was just trying to think if, if they're running skull cracks if that uh, deals with their platinum period, but I don't believe it does. It's not a damage prediction in effect, it's just this number is not gonna change. Yeah, because damage is still dealt, which is why the life link goes through all the all the uh, crazy shenanigans there. Uh, so I think pretty good against Burn. Uh, we do have some sideboard answers, but overall pretty good. And then, you know, there's some more stuff. Lantern Control. Wow, people are really moving in on Lantern Control. This used to be like less than 1% of the metagame, now it's 3.5%. Um, Lantern Control is probably a terrible, terrible matchup. Um, just. We're, we're not set up for that fight. Uh, Zuicide, we beat that. Uh, it's uh, probably a fine matchup. Abzan, we've covered. Tron, Tron's not a good matchup. Uh, and without the, we don't have the greatest sideboard playing in fact, in fact right now. Uh, Delver, uh, I think we're okay against Delver. Uh, not great. Uh, so those are the top decks. I think we were, you know, Against the larger decks, we're a pretty good favorite. I feel like we're probably also just strong against some of the smaller, weird, junky decks. Just <clears throat> uh, we can configure ourselves to be able to deal, fight with whatever they're doing, and then we have a proactive game finisher that they might have a lot of trouble dealing with. So uh, that's the deck. Um, do something for you guys next week. I don't know if I'm going to keep going with this deck. Um, so I, I kind of just get bored with things and just move on because it's a game. Uh, I know it's great to get super into a deck and learn all the ins and outs, uh, but I like I like uh, the crunchy part where you're you're learning more per game than uh, when you played it a hundred times already. All right, thanks for watching. See you next week.